Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, as you can see, my dog has literally crippling anxiety of being on the counter because she's not used to being on the counter. It's okay. It's okay. Good girl. But what she doesn't know is that I am making her pupsicles today. I'm gonna go ahead and put her out of her misery for now. So if you don't know, that was Mia. If you're new to my channel, my name's Matthew, which might be a little more important to know. I don't know, you tell me. Some people like dogs more than people. Make your pick, choose wisely. If you don't mind, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. I'd appreciate it if you'd be a part of my YouTube channel. It has been a scorcher here in Texas. Like, it has been so hot and dry. I was like, I might as well do something sweet for my dog because I love my dog. So I was like, why not just make popsicles? Popsicles, heat, they kind of go together, you know? This idea dawned on me because I've been taking her to the dog park a little bit here and there, and she's been getting so hot, and she just got groomed, and so I at least had to get her a featured video because she is so cute. So I just like Googled online for a minute and came across this page that had two ingredient pupsicles. So shout out to Tracy from Baking Mischief. The nice thing about these recipes is that essentially, as long as you are safe and you only have ingredients that are good for dogs, you can just mix them up and freeze them and it's a pupsicle. Today we're going to be doing three different recipes, which include a peanut butter and banana pupsicle, a yogurt and berries pupsicle, and a pumpkin and banana pupsicle. So gotta get your pumpkin in there because it's getting to be the fall season soon and so pumpkin's gonna be a big thing. So I thought I would definitely include this recipe. And the nice thing is that these are ingredients that most people already have in their house. And then I'm going to be using these molds that I got online. I think they're really cute. And so everyone of course should have these lying around their house. I mean, who wouldn't? No, I'm just kidding. But an easy substitute. my video. But an easy substitute is to just take an ice tray and then you can either just use regular popsicle sticks or even use uh, milk bones, even the greenies or something like that. Just something that can make it like a handle. Trust me, dogs aren't even going to care. So let's go ahead and get into our first one. First of all, do not judge me because I am going to use this. No, you don't need a mortar and pestle. You can just use a fork or a spoon to mash the things up together. I'm gonna be kind of fancy because I am a classy lady. First one we're gonna be doing, really, really, really simple, is going to be the banana and peanut butter popsicle. So for this one, guess what two ingredients you need? I'm gonna go ahead and grab a small banana. Just because I have really small molds and I'm not expecting to make a hundred of these today. So just going to peel the banana, put it in my here. Okay, so I have that in there. And then I'm just going to put a few teaspoons or tablespoons of peanut butter. Just give me one second to get this nice and stirred up. So check out how nice and creamy. I love this peanut butter. I have enough to mix in for a decent amount. I have a mess already on my counter. Do not judge me. Now, I'm gonna get to mashing. I don't know why I'm holding it like this, like it's a pen or something. I'm ready to go, gotta go. I can't even begin to tell you how satisfying this is. <laughs> So I don't want it to be completely mushy. I think it's kind of nice if you have a little bit of texture in there. I'm thinking of doing a flavor up here, a couple right here, and then a flavor down here. I think I want these to be the dog bones because I think they're gonna look like dog bones just from the, the color of it. So I'm, again, making a nice disaster on my counter. So go ahead and do that. It'll make me feel a little bit better about my life. Wonderful thing is you can eat it too. I'm gonna set those off to the side. I have those kind of done. Being the Virgo that I am, there you have it. It doesn't look very pretty, but I'm just gonna slide this guy across and then voila. Get all that excess out and you have the molds filled. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay. 
So now I have those clean, they look beautiful. And because I don't feel like cleaning this up just yet, we're gonna go ahead and go to the yogurt and berries one. Now I will say, be careful with this one. You have to make sure you get plain, unsweetened Greek yogurt. And that's because you don't want to get yogurt with xylitol in it. That is a sweetener that's commonly used in yogurt. So just check the ingredients on the back to make sure you don't have xylitol. That is toxic to dogs. And so I'm just going to go ahead and pour the yogurt in. Plop it right in there. Sorry for the clankiness. Okay, and it's as easy as you, you grab your berries, and then all you do, uh, I couldn't decide, you can do just one berry, you can do strawberries too. I have a blend of raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries, because at the store, they sell them that way. And I thought that was a really nice way to kind of incorporate all three. I am just going to kind of fold some of these berries in. And I will say, be careful with the molds, depending on what you use, because obviously blackberries are pretty large. So I'm going to carefully fold these in. Okay, so grab my mold back over here. And now we're going to carefully put them in the mold. This is what we're dealing with right now. The final one we're going to try is the pumpkin and banana, which I'm really excited. I'm definitely gonna eat one of these whenever it freezes. Make sure when you're buying the pumpkin that you are getting pumpkin puree and not pumpkin pie mix. Those are commonly side by side, especially in the baking aisle. Just wanna make sure you don't grab that pie mix because that is going to be super sweet and will be very, very bad for your dog to eat. I have another small banana and I cleaned my mortar out. So I'm going to open up my pumpkin and get it going. I'm just gonna add a couple of heaping tablespoons. Now I have that all nice and mashed. I'm gonna try this because I cannot think of anything. I don't think I've ever had a banana and pumpkin paired together. Makes me think of my oatmeal that I, I posted on my channel like a year ago. If you have not seen that video, go check it out. Actually, I don't know if I should say that because it might not be that great of a video. I'm trying to get better. I've learned a lot the past year. Bear with me, okay? But it is pretty good. It's a flavor that I don't really taste often. Okay, so I have those in the mold as well. Doesn't look pretty on the bottom side, but I promise when we pop these suckers out in three hours, yes, you heard me, three hours, we have to let them freeze for three hours, then they are gonna look gorgeous, I am sure. Mia's gonna be very happy. We will let Princess Mia judge which of these is her favorite, which I'm really excited about, but also nervous because Mia doesn't really like treats. But we're gonna see if she'll actually eat these. I will see you guys in three hours, but luckily for you, it's just gonna be literally at the snap of my finger. So I am back and it has been a few hours. I'm gonna grab them out of the freezer and we're gonna pop them out and then show them to Mia. Hopefully she'll eat them and get an idea of which one might be her favorite. So before I do that, drop a comment below and see if you can guess correctly which one Mia is going to enjoy more. I have them out of the freezer. They, I mean, of course, don't look very great from this side. Hopefully I can pop these out and hopefully this will not be tragic like my birthday cake video. If you didn't see that, go check it out. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I am flipping out. These are so cute. So cute, so, 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 so cute. I am in love with these molds. That was the yogurt and berry. Let's see what the peanut butter bananas look like. <laughs> so cute, oh my goodness, they are so cute. And then our pumpkin and banana turned out just fine. Since Mia was completely terrified of 
me putting her on the counter. I don't want to do that again because she's going to be too scared about that to focus on the popsicles themselves. So I'm just going to try to give them to her on the floor and see if she'll have any interest in them that way. Okay, let's see how this goes. She's still kind of freaking out, but she seems interested. Yeah, I got treats for you. Yeah. Every single time I get my camera out, she just starts flipping out and the lights don't really help. That's why I don't do too many videos with her because I think it just freaks her out more than anything. So trying to see if this is going to work. I don't know if any of you have dogs that are on anxiety medication, but you all know how it is. It's very difficult and you don't want to overstress them from things like this. So we're going to try our best. Okay, so we have yogurt and berries. We have peanut butter and banana and pumpkin and banana. We're sniffing, we're testing it out. There's literally no interest. I think she's just freaking out. You want five bites? Look, it's a treat. So it has been about a week and two days <laughs> since I made the popsicles for Mia. I just wanna say I think it might go a little bit better now because she's been getting used to her new anxiety medication which has a lot of side effects, one of which is trembling, which I'm sure you guys saw at the beginning of this video. And so I'm hoping that now it's kind of, you know, calmed down just a little bit. She's outside, I'm gonna let her in and we're gonna see if she'll have anything to do with these popsicles. And what I might end up doing is setting the camera down and just angling it on to see if she has anything to do with it outside of me shoving a camera in her face. I wanted to keep the studio lights off and everything. I don't want it to be intimidating for her. Any of you have an animal on reconcile because she's literally shaking and I don't know if it's because I'm trying to give her something she can eat and she's associating me giving her the medication so she doesn't want to take this because she might think it has like the medicine in it and she doesn't like the medicine. I got her to lick on the berry one, at least, the, the yogurt and berry one. I gotta get some in your beard, so when you lick it off your beard, you'll see that it's actually good. Yeah, you like that one? See, she licks this one, good girl. Oh yeah. Okay, I think we have a winner. Yeah, good girl, see? It's all good. She doesn't seem to be interested in the peanut butter. No? Okay. Or the pumpkin, which interestingly, both of them have banana. So maybe she doesn't like bananas. <gasps> Good girl. You like that one? Yeah. Mm. So Reconcile does have a, a side effect of trembling and grunting and things like that. She's been grunting a lot. We're warming up to it. She's licking it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, good girl. So the pumpkin and banana. She likes the paw prints. Maybe it's the shape of the bone that she does not like. She has no interest in the peanut butter and banana one at all. I thought all dogs love peanut butter. If I put it in her beard, it's like she has to lick it off her beard. And then she realizes, oh, this is good. And then she starts licking on it. So I think it's just showing her that it's not medicine, but she's not been one who really cares for treats either. I have like two or three bones around the apartment right now, not eaten. Just, she'll carry them around and pick them up and put them down sometimes. Yeah, good girl. You like this one? Yeah, it's okay. We're going to town on this one. Girl, oh my goodness, she's almost eating the whole thing. Yeah, you like this one. Oh, you love this one. You can eat those. Yeah, is it yummy? Yeah, you're doing so much better than the first day I tried to give them to you. I mean, she demolished it. That's, that's all that's left. I think she's done, she just walked away. Good girl, you wanna come say bye? I can't really pick you up because this. <laughs> 
you're a dog owner, you understand this feeling. Okay, say bye. Say bye. Bye. That little cute little face. Say bye. She's like, what are you making me do? I don't know why I'm talking about this. Whoa. Yeah, she loves this yogurt one. The yogurt and berries. If you have a dog with anxiety who doesn't like treats, that one seems to do the trick. So there you go. So that is it for this video. I appreciate if you made it to the end. If any of you have dogs like this, let me know in the comments below. Do any of you use Reconcile? That's the, the name of the medication. And I'm just curious to know if they got better or if they experienced these symptoms first and then got better. Especially if your dog is as particular and picky as mine is because I literally can't get her to eat any treats. She has no interest in treats. I cannot get her interested in toys, anything like that. I'm happy to hear all sorts of suggestions. I really want her to be happy and I just feel like she's struggling right now. She's like, dad, get off the, get off the camera. Hurry up so I can go snuggle in bed. <laughs> but thank you all if you watched this video. I hope you end up trying these pupsicles. Let me know if you do. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and like this video. I'm gonna go yell at this guy to shut up off the balcony because he's getting on my nerves with the leaf blower and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.